So in this video, we're going to convert this function here, x divided by 1 plus x squared, into a power series. Now, this function here, what we're going to do is try and use some similar power series that we know and try and make that fit into another power series. Now, one power series that's really popular to use is 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed and so on and so on. Now this as a power series we can write as n equals zero to infinity of x to the power of n. So that's what we've got here. So we've got x to the zero essentially, x to the one, x to the two, x to the three and so on. So that's its power series representation and its radius conversion is absolute value of x is less than one. So we're going to come on to that in a moment. That is also really important when dealing with this power series as well. Now this written as a function, so I'm going to call this g of x, this would be 1 over 1 minus x. That would be its function representation. Now what we're going to try and do is, is get this into some sort of format of this and then we can create a power series similar to this one. So first of all let's try and write this in terms of something similar to that. Now, we've got an x on the top, so we can rewrite that as, let's just do that over here, x times 1 over 1 plus x squared. So that's equivalent to what that is. So we've got this bit here now looking something similar to this, but we've just got this term here which we need to take care of. So what we could do is, for this x here, take this into a minus sign, and then we'd have x times 1 over 1 minus, and then put another minus and have it as x squared. That still is the same as what this is. So we've now got 1 minus minus x squared. Now what we'll have is here now, this minus x here, we've just got the x there and the x there, everything else is the same. So now what we've got here is we'd have a power series now with our minus x squared. So if I could write this here in terms of that with just this bit, just this bit here, I'll have n equals zero to infinity. And then I've got minus x squared. So minus x squared and raise that to the power of n. So that'd be where we are so far in turn converting this into power series. We haven't dealt with this part yet. We'll come to that in a moment. This bit we'll need to add on. At the moment, we've just got this bit. Now, next thing to look at is just to check our radius of convergence. Here we've got absolute value of x is less than one. Here we've got a minus x squared. So our radius of convergence here, so radius of convergence here, we have to put an absolute value minus x squared is less than one. Now, if we just check that and get and solve that for x, we just still got basically x is still less than one. So that's the equivalent of x is still less than one. So we are now ready, we can put that into this power series and not worry about the radius convergence not matching. So our x is still going to be less than one for this power series. So if I take this power series here and bring it out, let's write this over here. n equals zero to infinity minus x squared to the n. So that's what we've got so far. And I now need to include this x because that's still part of our original function here. So if I bring that out to the front and multiply that by the whole thing. OK, so now I've got x on the outside and minus x squared to the n. Let's deal with this part first and then we can add this bit afterwards. So this will then bring us on to x times n equals zero to infinity. Now this here minus x squared to the n, I can rewrite this minus x squared also with this n as minus one and then I've got x squared. Now x squared will be to the n as well, so I'll have to write that n in as well. But also this minus one here, which I have in front, will also have to be raised to the one as well. 
So now we're going to have some sort of alternating series because minus 1 to the n will alternate in terms of which n value we've got. So now let's bring the n inside on this one. So that will give us then x to the 2n. So let's change that up. So now we've got x equals n equals 0 to infinity. We've got minus 1 to the n. And then x squared to the power of n is just the same as writing x to the 2n. So that takes care of that. And now we need to invite this x into the summation because x is included inside the summation. So that's going to give us one more x per each x to the 2n. So now what we can rewrite this as summation from n equals 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n. And now we've just got one more x per term. So we can just add 1 to our indice here. So we've got x to the 2n plus 1. So that's our power series taken care of. And our radius of convergence is the same as this power series here we used to transform it into. So then we've got our absolute value of x is less than 1. And that is a power series representation of our function. So this function here as a power series, we can now submit this as our final solution. So then if we wrote that like we did this one here, we'd have an alternating series here. So when n equals 0, we just have a 1. n equals 0 here, we'd have x, which is to the power of 1. So then we just write that as x. And then when x is 1, we'd have a negative. So we can write negative. And then when x is 1, we've got 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1. So then we've got x cubed. And then when x is 2, we've got a positive. And then 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. So that's how then this would then be represented in, in a polynomial. So then we've got a minus x to the 7 plus x to the 9 and so on. So that's the polynomial representation of this power series and also of this function. Okay.